it's an interesting realization to have something that you would think you're so familiar with come out of left field and find out that it's really so much deeper than that. I really didn't notice them until Ron talked to us about it. When he called initially to say these coyotes he thinks are really more unique. Oh, that was exciting. Ron, I've been taking pictures of the same animals. They're cool, but they're just coyotes. We needed a tissue sample in order to actually give him an answer. So Ron was able to come across roadkill samples. He was pretty sure there was something weird about them. We looked at the result and those animals were not dogs and they weren't really coyotes. They have red wolf DNA. Why would there be red wolf DNA in Galveston Island, Texas? Red wolves have been officially missing from the landscape since 1980. So, what's that? Being a member of this community and just finding out that ghost wolves are a thing, I had the same phone call. The ghost wolves are an amazing discovery. Something we weren't even thinking would be a possibility. Josh Henderson, Kristen Przeski, and Bridget Von Holt. They're uncovering lost genetic diversity of the American red wolf that's found in what we thought were coyotes here in Galveston Islands. Our neighbors is a den of about maybe seven ghost wolves. You have a better chance of seeing a ghost wolf on Galveston Island than you probably have any other wolf or coyote elsewhere. This is an amazing rediscovery of endangered DNA. Using that DNA and those lost genetics, we can help recover the American red wolf population. That will help out their survival. And being able to see that data and how all of that lays out has been mind blowing. We've gone from catch and kill every single one of them to being on the precipice of the science that actually saves the species. The Colossal's Genetic Rescue Toolkit were able to identify genetic markers in this lost ghost wolf population. Those genetic markers allow us to revitalize the American red wolf population. But now we have this more resilient red wolf that can persist under the landscape with changing climate and changing habitat into the future. I want to be part of this movement. So the coyotes are not an enemy. They can coexist with us. We just need to learn how to coexist with them. We feel special because they are our neighbors. True Eureka moment. It's really a pleasure to have them in our neighborhood. The ghost wolf, our fancy coyote, just might be the key to saving the red wolf. The world's most endangered wolf. Save.